Well, if you've had a cavity filled lately, chances are your dentist used a technique called light curing. Mm. The process uses a special light to harden the materials used in the filling. Recently, experts from around the world met in our region to discuss how to make this procedure safer for both patients and dentists. The details in tonight's house call. As hard as we may try to avoid them, many of us will end up with a cavity or two. It used to be these holes in our teeth were filled with silver amalgam. But in recent years, the switch has been made to a safer, more aesthetically pleasing white resin. This material is then hardened through a process called light curing. It's a means of transforming um, uh, filling materials um, that we normally refer to as composite materials from a paste-like uh, formulation and, and feel to hard uh, solids. Dr. David Watts is a professor of dentistry at the University of Manchester. He recently visited our region to take part in a conference on light curing. The practice involves using a high-powered blue light to set the filling material. Oh, okay, that's Problems arise when that resin weird. doesn't harden all the way through. To help fight this, dentists are using increasingly brighter lights. And they can be hazardous if they're mishandled, uh, especially some extremely bright lights that our manufacturers uh, suggest could be used for, say, five seconds or even less. Improperly set fillings can cause a host of potential problems. The restoration could actually break. You could get uh, gaps between the restoration and the, re and the tooth, so you have a buildup of stain. Dr. Frederick Rugeberg is a professor of dentistry at the Georgia Health Sciences University. He says proper precautions need to be taken during light curing to ensure the safety of both the patient and the dentist. Are, are they asked to put on these glasses when they're getting photo curing done in their mouth? Do the people who are applying the lights wear these protective eye, eye shields for themselves. Light curing has been used in the dental field since the late 1970s, meaning dentists trained before that time weren't taught the technique in school. That's why experts from around the world recently met in our region to discuss ways to make the treatment safer. So educate the uh, client, as you would the patient, but also educate the clinician. Putting both patient and dentist at ease next time they sit back and open wide. Now, the light used in this procedure is LED blue light, not to be confused with UV light. Experts recommend patients and dentists wear those orange-colored safety glasses because they best filter blue light. I wondered what the connection was with the orange there.